Eric Anthony here. Uh, I've been working on the studio, as you can see, uh, so that I could do these actually face-to-face -face in front of the camera instead of just recording the audio in my car in the mornings. Um, it's been working pretty well. I I've liked the, uh, the following that started to build on it, so that's great. But I uh, wanted to come to you today and talk about a conversation that I saw on Facebook the other day. And it was about whether or not you should put pricing on your website. And I think it really goes both ways. I mean, there's 50-50, the people who think you should, the people who think you shouldn't. And I think there's really good reasons on both sides of the fence as to why you should or why you shouldn't. It's also following a very interesting conversation in marketing in general these days of whether or not you should have pricing on your website or not. And I think what we're starting to see is a lot of your SaaS companies and your more progressive companies when it comes to marketing are putting pricing on their website. Now they're putting simplified pricing on their website so it's very easy and it's not complicated, but it gives the idea or the customer the idea of what they might expect rather than an exact number maybe. Now for some SaaS software applications, it's very cut and dry. You know, you have a couple of levels and a couple of prices and it's very simple. For MSPs, obviously you don't have that. So what we're looking for is just a very simplified idea of what it might cost and then a call to action for them to do something based on that. So what we wanna do is the next step in your sales funnel from somebody looking at your website or looking at your pricing should be to call you or set up a meeting with you. So what we wanna do is put a button for a call to action. You know, with SaaS software, they're gonna be hitting a purchase button. For the MSP, they're gonna be clicking on a contact button so that now you can reach out to them. But I believe that putting pricing on your website is actually pre-qualifying these customers. And these customers are really gonna be the ones that have no objection to your price already. So one of the big things is already out of the way and they're reaching out to you, meaning they have a need for your type of services. So I wanna know if anybody has actually tried this and see how it works and give me your thoughts, give me your ideas. I wanna hear both sides as to you know, why you don't put pricing on your website and why you do put pricing on your website. And then maybe I can do a more in-depth video and kind of explain the pros and cons to both sides and let you guys make a decision for yourselves. Thanks a lot for watching these videos. I uh, hope you like, subscribe, and then click the bell to be notified when I release new videos. And please just keep hustling. Uh, this MSP model really does have great potential. Whether you're a, a born tech or a born business person, both of them have their advantages. Let's crush this thing. See ya.